Today we put 10,000 native oysters onto a new reef that we've created off the coast of Whitburn in the northeast of England. We put the oysters onto a new reef that's 7,500 metres squared, which is the size of a football pitch. The culture is made up of local stones and old scallop shells, and we're hoping that culture will form the basis of a new underwater marine habitat for our oysters. The Wild Oysters Project is a partnership project between the Zoological Society of London, the Blue Marine Foundation and British Marine, and locally we're working with our partner Groundwork North Eastern Cumbria to deliver our local restoration hub. The project was made possible thanks to the £1.18 million raised by the Players of the People's Postcode Lottery. Over the past week we've had the help of over 100 local volunteers who have been helping us clean our oysters which have now been laid on the oyster reef. Without their help this project would not be possible. We're optimistic that our 10,000 oysters will thrive, reproduce and grow on their new home in the Oyster Reef and we're really looking forward to monitoring their progress over the next few months. In the mid-1800s we know that there was a specialist oyster fish market in South Shields and we also know there was a present of oyster saloons in Tynemouth so we know that oysters have been a part of local historical culture for a long time. Across the UK we've lost 95% of our native oysters due to a range of different reasons including habitat loss, disease and over-exploitation and with that loss we've lost all the benefits that native oysters can provide for us. Native oysters are what we call ecosystem engineers, meaning they change and improve the habitat around them. Native oysters create a reef which is a sort of complex 3D matrix and this habitat supports a wide biodiversity of other marine species. Native oysters are also filter feeders, meaning that each mature native oyster will filter up to 200 litres of water a day, creating cleaner, better quality water. They'll provide shoreline stabilisation and many other different benefits for the local environment. We're hoping over time that the reef will become home and a good important habitat for lots of different marine species locally and boost our local biodiversity. It might attract species such as the endangered European eel, it can be a home for juvenile lobsters and crabs and lots of other species. We're hoping that this new oyster reef will kickstart the recovery of native oysters locally in the area. So when the oysters have been laid on the oyster reef, we're hoping that next season when they're breeding, they'll release oyster larvae, which will then settle in different areas, which will help contribute to the recovery of the native oyster.